In this video, we're going to look at the preset system of GateStorm. Before starting this video, I created eight presets in Bank 4 that I have set up just to trigger the kick on channel 1 for simplicity. I'm also modulating the kick pitch CV from lane 2. If you press the global button twice, it brings up the select preset page. Here, you can manually switch between presets. When global sync is on, you'll notice a preset will turn red briefly as it waits for the global clock to determine the best time when to start it. Let's go back to preset 1. Bank CV settings are done on the orange CV page, which is three presses on the CV button. Here there are three settings we want to worry about, CV patch, patch mode, and global patch trigger. Global patch trigger works like the other triggers. You can set it to either global trigger 1 or global trigger 2. We'll set it to global trigger 2. Again, note that patch changes will occur when global sync is on, synchronized to this clock. So let's take a look at the preset changing modes that are available. Press button 3, and it shows you what's currently selected, which is none. If you rotate it once, this is the CV bus mode. CV bus tells GateStorm to listen to the CV bus for patch change messages. This uses the same communication protocol as Mungo and Macro Machine modules like the storage strip. In this tutorial, we're not going to focus on the CV bus patch mode, but look at the manual for more information on that. If we rotate the encoder again, this puts us in preset latch mode or PLAT mode. This means that the CV voltage sets the patch to a specific patch setting. So, if you had CV setting set to 100% positive and the incoming CV was at max, preset 8 would get set when the GPAT trigger came in. In other words, think of it, if this CV was set up that way, that this whole range would be set 1 to 8. So when a trigger came in, that is the value that would be latched. The last mode is called incremental latch mode. This means that the patch is incremented or decremented depending on the CV value in the CV setting. So let's go back to the P-latch mode. So let's hit any button to exit. So now let's set up the CV input for the patch change. So we'll push CV patch. We will select CV6. Push the coder in. We're going to set it up for 100% positive. So now, right now we're on patch one. Let's go to 50%. Hit a trigger. Now we're on patch four. Go up to 75%. So you can see that if these are the voltages coming in, this is what would happen. So let's go ahead and set the CV to max. We will generate a CV from a sequencer. We'll generate a gate from the sequencer. Now we're using this lane H to increment it.
pretty straightforward. All right, so let's disconnect all that. And let's go ahead and we'll go back to patch one. Now, I want to talk about one other thing here. If we go back to the CV setting, if you notice, you can set the patch to 100% negative. So what does that mean? Well, now at zero, we're still at one. If we go up a little bit, now we're at eight. What this does is it maps the incoming CV from one and then eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So it's just an easy way to generate different patterns as well. It's a sort of backwards mode. So the CV we have set off, let's go in and put incremental mode on. So exit out of this. We're going to go to patch mode. Now we're in incremental mode. CV patch, let's go back to 100% positive. So now let's give that some voltage. Press the trigger button. Notice now, we're stepping in steps of one. So let's go a little bit higher. Now we're stepping in steps of two. Let's go a little bit higher. Now we're stepping in steps of three. Go all the way. Now we're stepping at steps of four. So the amplitude of your CV voltage coming in selects between one, two, three, or four steps, or zero if it's at zero. Likewise, if we go back into the CV patch setting and set the level at minus 100. Let's go back down to about the one area. Now we'll decrement. So you can pick which direction you want to go. So one thing I want to mention is that the flexibility between what this CV level is and what this percentage amount is, is it allows you to build different relationships between this CV value and multiple settings. So whether you want to limit this input coming in or limit the amount this affects this is up to you in whatever situation you're in. This way you have the ultimate flexibility, especially if you only had maybe four presets you want to switch between. You might have this set up to only go 50% on this value coming in at max. And once again, like we mentioned before, if you hold in the display button till this turns red, all patch change messages will be ignored, along with all triggers and CVs. This way you can go make changes if you want. Hold it in again, and then it'll go back to listening. And if you go over to the display page, you can see the patch settings over here in the corner that you have set up. So this completes the Quick Start GateStorm video series. Upcoming videos will dive into specific topics on the GateStorm. Thanks for watching.